the big question did the nsa create bitcoin and i explain you in this video exactly it's in the code what makes bitcoin so secure lies in the use of secure hash alg algorithm 256 so this is the algorithm what makes a secure if you transfer bitcoin one bitcoin from you to me it just so happened that this algorithm is the direct work of glenn m lilly a mathematician who under the direction of the nsa designed and eventually published the algorithm in 2001 lily later became the nsa chief of the mathematics research so you see it's crazy how this connection is here between bitcoin and the nsa nsa but it's getting even crazy one of the first organization to describe a bitcoin like system in 1996 so over 10 years before bitcoin was created in 1996 paper titled how to make a mint the cryptography of anonymous electronic cash was the nsa in the paper the author proposed a system that used public key cryptography to allow users to make anonymous payments without revealing their identity and here you see this paper and this paper is from 1996 to over 13 years before bitcoin was created did the nsa such a paper already i mean it's crazy and now now it's getting totally ludicrous nakamoto loosely translated from the japanese means central while the same name satoshi means intelligent so basically central intelligence this is exactly what the nsa is one guy described it the best nick carter the only decent thing the nsa ever did from the world was let bitcoin leak from the lab and someone co commented they also patent SHA256 under royal, royalty free license. I mean, do you understand? I, I don't know if you understand how crazy it is. So basically, the argument is the NSA had the opportunity to create Bitcoin. The NSA, global surveillance programs such as PRISM code, which allow it to track and monitor Bitcoin transactions and users. And basically, the CBDCs, right, which we're speaking, what, the, what they want to do, this digital dollar, and there are already a digital yuan. But basically, Bitcoin is the perfect system to track your transactions if the, if the NSA created Bitcoin. Another argument is the NSA's ability to hide its identity involvement behind the pseud pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto, the person or group who created Bitcoin. I mean, you know it already, but Satoshi Nakamoto means central intelligence, the, translate from the Japanese. And another, uh, the last argument, the NSA's timing, NSA's timing in context of creating Bitcoin after 2008 financial crisis, which created demand of oh, and opportunity for an alternative cryptocurrency system. So basically, man, they had the perfect timing because 2008 was the biggest financial crisis in the history of economy. And what happened in 2009, so one year later, the Bitcoin network was created when Nakamoto minted the, the starting block of the chain known as the Genesis block. So so basically one year later when the demand was so heavy in the in the in the in the world for decentralized financial system there is coming bitcoin so if nsa created bitcoin if it will ever came out the whole crypto market will i mean bitcoin will go to zero because nobody want uh, to invest in a central the, the whole idea of crypto of bitcoin is a decentralized financial system so in case it coming out that there is behind a centralized system like the nsa it will obviously 100 percent go to zero so we hope it's not true, but a lot of arguments speaking for it. And let us speak right now about the daily, because we see right now we are going to retest the monthly 20 moving average and the weekly 20 moving average. You see, we are about to retest it, and it perfectly fits with the theory of the total crypto market, because it, we, we got several times here rejected, and it seems that we will break down here to the support line of around $1 trillion. $1 trillion means Bitcoin will go to, to a round of the level. i show you here exactly. Wait a minute. I show you exactly to the level of around 25k so we could see here a drop down easily from approximately around um around 9.5 percent in case we cannot hold the monthly and 20 moving average and also it speaks for i show you in a second my trades the funding rates funding rates it's um, 0.01 on binance on the uidx 0.03 so they are 
too high we want to see them at least neutral or negative so expecting here some more dump to the 25k level and another news very important arbitrum will unlock 1.2 billion arbitrum in march 2024 token unlock so be careful in case you're invested in arbitrum we could see unless we don't see a huge pump in the market in march 2024 we could expect before march 2024 we could see expect that Arbitron will see a huge dump so just be careful with this and I show you also my trades I'm in RB long position right now still which is $8,000 in a loss in the LDO position which is in $900 in a loss at the moment so it's okay I still expect that we will see a pump in the market because in case we are dumping to this level of 25k expecting at least there at 25k we will see a huge pump to the upside and the price target is here clearly around 38k this is our price target Bratanse let us watch will this work out or will this not work out but in my opinion it's very clear and the probability is right now very likely super black here spider the probability is very likely that we will see bitcoin going down to 25k but thank you everyone for watching i kiss you and see you later Mwah.